and welcome to my YouTube channel Julie McNeil Crafts. So today I am going to be creating a background using this um, stamp but again this is a video that I am doing as part of a demonstration for Hachanda. So um, if I'm sort of referring to the Hachanda website or bits and pieces that's why um, but I'm sort of doing two things um, at once. So anyway I hope you enjoy the demonstration. Okay so I this time I'm going to be looking at this stamp set here, Harriet Hart and Chester. And I'm just wanting to look at the power of these little background stamps. They may seem little, but you can very quickly and easily build up a background with it. So what I've done is I have made little masks. So I'm going to be using um, this heart stamp here. And I have made little masks from copier paper and just put some repositionable glue on the background. Now, I'm thinking that after I have made this background, I might add some colour with some watercolours. So because of that, I am going to use my Stays On ink pad. So I'm just going to ink that up and pop it into a corner like so. Okay, and then I'm going to grab one of my little masks and just cover the heart. And then I'm just going to repeat that a couple of times. So if we stamp this a few times, as I said, we will have very quickly built up a um, really effective background. Okay, and oops, I've managed to pull the mask off there, but that's okay. So I'm just going to move that down. <laughs> oh dear, it happens to us all. There we go. As I said, I'm just going to stamp it a few times over this side and then I will maybe marry it by having some coming this side as well. I'm going to stamp off the page a little bit because I think that sort of adds to a, an effective um, look. I think when you look at a lot of backing papers that you buy and things like that, you'll have an element that sort of comes um, off the page. So I am just going to add another bit just there, okay? And as I said, we have very quickly and easily just created a little bit of a background paper. We also, in the same stamp set, have a little heart, which I had out and ready to go. You can see that for looking there. Right, so I'm just going to add some of these little hearts in. So we've got the um, empty heart as it were and now we're going to have a silhouetted heart. Um, so I'm just going to put a few around about this way. So this gives you the freedom to create your own um, backgrounds and again I'm just going to have a couple of these come off the page. Okay and I am also, let's just have a full play with this stamp set because we've got lots of goodies in here. So I'm also, oops, sorry for the noise in the camera there, um, I'm also just going to take this little swirl and um, I may just pop this, pop this round the edges like so, just almost um, frame it a little bit. So I'll maybe just pop some round the corners. I'm also twisting the stamp so it doesn't look too contrived. As I said, I'm using all black here, but you could just as easily use lots of different colours um, of ink pads um, to get, you know, a really interesting effect. Okay, and then the last thing I have got is I'm quite known for drawing lots of doodly borders and I like to do sort of a faux stitching. Um, I know not everybody is overly confident doing that, so I have put a stamped version in there and so I'm just going to go around the edges of this card that I haven't sort of quite filled in just yet and I'm going to just as I said stamp a bit of a, a faux stitching detail around um, the edge of that and then I think what I might do is we can grab some um, distress inks I think and we'll just add a bit of random colour to this um, background. Okay so I've just got my acetate sheet that the stamp set sits on. I'm just going to tap a bit of distress ink on here. This one is peacock feathers and I'm going to blatter it with water and then I'm just going to grab um, the 
background that we've just made and dip that in like so. Now we just add a little bit of colour. I've just seen there that there's a mask I've not taken off. <laughs> There we go, it's added to an interesting effect. I'm now just going to add a little bit of green and this time it, that is Twisted Citron. So I'm again going to give it a spray and then just tap it into my background. Now I want to add pink but I don't want to end up with a mucky um, sort of muddy colour. So what I'm going to do first is just blatter this with my heat gun and then we'll come in and add a little bit of pink. So now I'm going to add that pink in. Obviously the reason I didn't add that before is green is made up of yellow and blue and we had the blue as well. So if I'd put those three colours together we'd have had the three primary colours together and that would have ended up creating a brown muddy colour. With the fact that I've sort of dried the layers in between that should just sort of prevent that happening so that we kind of get that pop of pink as opposed to a browny colour. So that's why I tend to wait. I'll work with two primary colours together, but if I want the third one showing as the colour as opposed to a mixed colour, I will just let that dry a little bit. i am also just added a bit more of that pink and this time I'm going to pick it up with a paintbrush and I'm just going to add a little bit of... Um, kind of specific colour into these hearts. Now I just picked this um, card out of um, my sort of scrap box um, so I don't know what sort of card I'm working on. I don't know whether I'm working on um, like a good watercolour card or not so it's kind of it's taken it okay so considering I did that that's not too bad. So now I'm just sort of highlighting um, those hearts. So it is quite um, soft and pretty but we've very quickly managed to build up a background with those stamps and a few little inks and I'll be back to finish the card. Okay and so as I always do when I am um, putting anything together I will always add a black frame um, and I just tend to find that this helps to draw the eye in it makes the piece look more finished. It's a bit of a difference of a just looking at a plain photograph and then looking at a photograph in a frame. I suppose it's like the old fashioned, we used to do a lot of matching and layering in the in the past with like midi cards and things so it sort of gives that sort of look of the matting and layering um, but just with a little pen line. So as I said to get that full matting and layering effect because sometimes we'd have like a few different mats and layers I can just do the same, put an edge on the actual card base. So we do that now. So some people ask me how I do this um, it's one of those things I just do automatically, but I tend to start halfway. I have my card tilted away from me and the pen sort of tint tilted as well. And I go start halfway and pull towards me and then I push away from me. And I just tend to um, do it like so. So now we've kind of got a double frame. So hopefully you can see the different the difference um, as we added those um, various elements and I think the more framed a piece looks um, the more um, impressive it looks in my opinion but everybody's got a different style um, but as I said that's kind of almost like the matting and layering of the <laughs> of the old days I can't tell you how much mirror card I used to go through doing that um, and now I just tend to um, do it with a, a pen um, and get a similar effect. Okay, so that's the card pretty much done. Um, obviously I had done it with the Queen of Hearts but um, I'm thinking the little Alice that I've prepared actually goes better with the colours. <laughs> so why not? Let's mix it up. Um, so I'm going to put um, Alice and the White Rabbit down. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of 3D foam um, just to give the card a bit of dimension. And um, We'll get those down and then I think I'll just finish it off with some black splashes. So quick and easy, um, just like looking at all the stamp sets. So um, they've not, I've not put the stamps in there just to fill gaps as it were. Um, I've put them there for a reason and part of the reason is like I'm, I'm a crafter, I'm a stamper um, and I love it all. I've got a massive selection of background stamps, um, I've got my floral stamps, I've got my feature images and when I craft I want to sort of build up my own backgrounds and I want to have a feature image and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so that's why I've tried to put that in the stamp sets that I've designed that um, you know, you've know you got the element there to put out um, 
to build your own background and you've got an element that can be a focal point as well. Um, so I just wanted to sort of show those in action. And then finally, because we've sort of built up a mixed media feel card, I'm just going to grab that same acetate sheet that we had before. And this time um, I've just got a black Echoline pen, which is water-based. And I'm just going to add a bit of um, water to this and we can just create some black splashes. So I'm literally just going to tap the edge of my brush like so. And I'm just sort of slightly covering Alice and the white rabbit so we don't end up with an ugly dot on our face or anything like that. Okay, and I'll just pull everything aside and that is the card completed. So I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me. If you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.